Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this beautiful square. This is number 140 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. This one has a written pattern. It's called Spring Daffodil Granny and it's by Anu Crochet. And this is so fabulous. I love 3D flower crocheting. 3D flower grannies are my fave. This is really cool. Looks exactly like a daffodil with the center here. We're learning a lot about uh, with the double crochets, single crochet, treble crochets in our petals here. And then we're doing the traditional granny stitch on our square back here. So it looks really fabulous today. Super simple pattern. You could use this, uh, this flower and um, make an applique for something else even. A headband, a hat, or a different blanket or something because we fasten off and just have the flower and then we make the square separate. So it's really fabulous. A really great square today. And you should definitely check out Anu Crochet Crochet's world uh, on her website. I will put the link into the pattern in the, in the description of this video, but you can go on to checking out her website. I highly recommend it because she's got some great patterns on there and we're really lucky to be able to use some of her designs in this project. So thank you so much. Uh, also, in today's video, I am going to demonstrate using Red Heart Super Saver yarn. This is just a size worsted weight medium yarn, size 4, which is a 10 ply yarn. You can use any 10 ply or 8 ply yarn, which is 8 ply is double knitting yarn. Um, if you have any scraps available, you can just use any scraps that you have. I recommend using though a daffodil color and then a green just because like the stems, the leaves on the ground are kind of uh, nature like nature looking so you can use whatever colors you want though totally up to you creators choice on that we are also demonstrating this video in an H size crochet hook which is five millimeters so make sure you have that handy as well as a yarn needle and a scissor because we'll be cutting our yarn and sewing in our ends and those tools just come in handy in this project before we start I do want to mention there are other links in the description of this video there's a link to my blog yarnutopia.com where you'll get all 365 days of granny squares make sure uh, to check that out you can click the image in there and then it will take you to its video tutorial on YouTube. Also there is uh, some patterns that have written patterns to them so you will see number 140 Spring Daffodil Granny by Anu Crochet so you can click that and follow along with a written pattern to some of the pattern or some of the videos that we have written patterns for. Uh, there's also a link in the description of this video to my Facebook page. Make sure you share your photos on the Facebook in the comment section of today's post so that I can see your squares today. And tell me, I mean, are you guys liking the, the flower, the floral designs? Because I got a lot of them and I just really, I personally like them. But if you guys, you know, want to change things up or if you have suggestions for different squares, let me know in the comments of today's post. And also, uh, there's a link to my Instagram page. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and double tapping my photos because I'll definitely double tap yours if you hashtag 365 days of granny squares and hashtag yarn utopia in your photos so that I can see them and also there's uh, my snapchat make sure you're following me on snapchat you can see behind the scenes clips of what we do here on yarn utopia and everything make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube we got to give a big thank you to my dad Fwad as much for taking the time out to make these videos with us he's our videographer editor and photographer for all of our videos so like I said just click that red subscribe button so you can get the update on when he posts our next video. So let's get started in making number 140 granny square. Okay, to start off, let's make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, fold that down, and then pull that through and pull tight. Insert your hook, and we can start. So to start off, we want to chain two, so yarn over and pull through one yarn over and pull through two. Now in the second chain from the hook we want to put six single crochet in there so the loop on your hook doesn't count so count one and two right in this first chain here we're going to go into the chain yarn over and pull it through that and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay that's a single crochet so that's one insert your hook back into that chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops that's two. Insert your hook back into that chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's three. Insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's four. This is five and six. 
All right. So now once you get back to the beginning here, we want to slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round, but we only want to slip stitch to the back loop only. So you can see here, we have we usually go through both of these loops like this, but we are this is the front loop and this is the back loop. So we're only going to go into the back loop, then yarn over, pull through and through. Because this next round, we're only working in the back loops of this round. So again, I'll show you this next stitch. We usually go through the both loops, but we are actually only going through this back loop just like that. So for round two, I'm not changing color. I suggest you do not change color at this point. So chain up three, yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. And that counts as our first double crochet of this round. And now we're gonna hop into this next stitch over here. Okay, so you see the stitch that we just slip stitched into and chained up three in is right here. We're gonna go into this next stitch over here in the back loop only, we're going to make two double crochet. So yarn over, go into that back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, then we are going to put one double crochet in the next stitch in the back loop only. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Then in the next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go into the back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and again, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Now in the next stitch, we're only going to put one double crochet. So yarn over, go into the back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, in this very last stitch on this round, we are going to put two double crochet. So yarn over, go into the back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And one more time, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So now we're back around. What I want you to do, it looks kind of like a bowl shape. You want to actually push this forward like this. So this is coming like that. And then we want to slip stitch to the beginning chain up three of this round here. So one, two, three, insert your hook into this third chain, yarn over, pull through and through. Okay, just like that. So that's going to start off our daffodil, our center of our daffodil. So now we can go on to the next round. We are going to fasten off here. So yarn over and pull through then cut this yarn and continue pulling that through. Then you want to attach your yarn in the front, we're gonna work in the front loops from uh, round two with the center of this flower facing you. So these front loops actually that we uh, skipped are over, we're going to work in these here. Okay, so you want the center of this flower to face you, you want to attach your yarn. I'm gonna use the same exact color that I've been using, and we want to attach it to any one of these six stitches here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go into this stitch right here, front loop only now. And we're going to make a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through like that, and then chain one, so yarn over, pull through. And now we are going to put two single crochet in each stitch around. So right into this stitch, we're going to go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Go back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Hop to the next stitch. Let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, right here. Okay, this front loop here. Oh, I'm sorry, it's right here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, again, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's our fourth one here. This one has 
number five and six, so one, two. And the next one, two, one, and two. The next one, one, and two. And the last stitch, one, and two. So now you should have 12 single crochets around, count back 12, and then slip stitch to the beginning single crochet, okay? Not this chain up one here. We're going to go into both loops, just like that, yarn over, pull through, and through. And now we can go on to the next round. Okay, going on to the next round, you do not want to change color, and you want to turn this so you're looking at the top of your flower, so like this. Okay, and now we're going to start with making the petals. So what I suggest to do, uh, this is not in the written pattern, but it is easier to do it this way, is going into this next stitch right here. Okay, so not the stitch that we slip stitch to right here. We're going to go into the stitch next to it right here, and we're going to slip stitch back. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. And now we can start here. And we are going to uh, chain up four, so yarn over and pull through, one, two, three, four, and that counts as our first treble crochet. And then we are going to, let me make sure I'm doing this right, make three treble crochets in that same stitch. So treble crochet is yarn over twice, go into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, again, yarn over twice, go into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So that's two. Yarn over twice, go in again to that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and yarn over and pull through those last two loops. Then we want to chain four again, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to go back into that same stitch that we have these treble crochets in, we're going to go back in there for a slip stitch, so yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, so we just made our first petal, just like that. Now we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch, so go into this next stitch right here, go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. Okay, then we are going to make our next um, petal here, we're going to go into this next stitch here, make a slip stitch, so insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through. And then we are going to chain four, one, two, three, four, Put three treble crochets into that same stitch, so yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's one, two, and three. Then we have to chain four, one, two, three, and four, and then slip stitch back into that same stitch. So go back into there, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And there's our second petal. So now we want to slip stitch into this next stitch. So go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and through. And then we want to slip stitch into the next stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through, and make your next petal. So just keep repeating that all the way around, and then you should have six petals at the end of this round, and then I'll meet you up and we will start making the square. All right, when you're finishing this round, you want to just make sure that you chain your four and then slip stitch back into the stitch where your last petal is in. And then we can slip stitch into this next stitch here. Okay, and then we're going to fasten off. So yarn over, pull through. To chain up one, cut your yarn, pull that through, and pull tight. Okay, so there is your flower. Actually, this is a cute flower to keep as like a cute little 
applique on something, a hat or a headband or even on a, a blanket or something, but this is really nice. I'm just going to sew in this end real quick. And then this next round, uh, we are going to be working around the stitches from round one. So let me just quickly sew in this end. So that's hidden. Okay. So now you want to look at your flower like this, so the back side, okay, so this is the front side, and you want to look at it like this, and you can see in round one there are six stitches. You see one here, one here, one here, one here, whoops, one there, then one there, and one there, okay? So I'll try my best to show you where you need to go. You need to go around the post, so go into one out the other just like that okay and then we are going to hook on our new color and pull that through and then we are going to chain um i probably should have known how many chains i need to do chain three sorry about that yarn over pull through one two and three now we are going to go into the very next stitch around the very next post so right here you can see it. We're going to go in to this side, out this side, and then slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, and through. Okay, so we've just made a chain three space, just like that. Now we're going to chain three, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. And now we're going to actually skip a stitch. Okay, so skip this post right here and go around this next post right here. So go in and out the other side of it. Then yarn over, pull through, and through. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And now we're gonna go around the very next stitch right here. So go into this side, out this side, then yarn over, pull through, and through. Then chain three, one, two, and three. And now we're going to skip this last stitch and slip stitch to the very first chain of this round. So right in here, this first chain of this beginning chain of three, we're going to go into the chain. So you wanna go through the first front loop and back loop. So there's two loops on top, one loop on the bottom, yarn over and pull through and pull through just like that so now you should have four chain three spaces okay if you don't have four chain, chain three spaces make sure you do um, you know kind of work uh, single pro or I'm sorry slip stitches and chain three spaces until you have four equal chain three spaces around so now going on to the next round, uh, we are just going to slip stitch into this first chain three space. So right in here, go in, yarn over, pull through and through. And now we are going to make our, our square shape. So we're gonna chain up three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two and three. And that counts as our first double crochet of this round. In the same chain three space, we are going to put two double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we're gonna chain one, so yarn over, pull through. And then we're gonna put three more double crochet back into that same chain three space. So yarn over, go back in there, yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two yarn over go back in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two and one more time yarn over go back in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops so there's our first corner that chain one in there is our first corner now we're going to chain one so yarn over pull through and we're gonna to hop to the next chain three space right in here, and we're going to make the same stitches. So we're gonna put three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet. So one, two, three, then chain one, and then three more double crochets in there. 
one, two, and three. Okay, then chain one, hop to the next chain three space here, and make the same thing, three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet. Then chain one, and then make your another corner in their last chain three space. At the end of this round, I'll meet you up and we'll go on to the last, or the next round together. All right, when you're finished with this round, make sure to chain one and then slip stitch to the beginning, chain up three here, one, two, three. Just go into that chain, then yarn over and pull through and through. Now, going on to the next round, actually this is, you're gonna do a traditional granny square stitch now. We're going to slip stitch into this next stitch, and into this next stitch, and into this next chain one space here. And now we're going to make our uh, first corner. We're going to chain up three, one, two, three, put two double crochet into the same chain one, so one and two, and then we're going to chain one, so yarn over, pull through, and then we're gonna put three more double crochet in there. So one, two, and three. Then we're going to chain one, so yarn over, pull through, and now in this next chain one space here, we're going to put three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Then we're gonna chain one, hop to the next chain one space and we're gonna make our next corner. So that's three double crochets, chain one and three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one, one, two, and three. Okay, then chain one, hop to the next chain one space and put three double crochets in there. So one, two, and three. Then chain one, hop to the next chain one space and put your corner in there. So that's three double crochets, chain one and three double crochets. One, two, three, one, one, two, and three. Okay, next side here we're chaining one, going into the next chain one space and we're going to put three double crochets in there. One, two, and three. Then chain one, hop to the next chain one space, which is our corner, and we're going to put three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet, all in that same chain one corner space. One, two, and three. There we go. Last side coming up, we're gonna chain one, hop into this last chain one space here for three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then don't forget, chain one, and then slip stitch to the beginning chain up three here. One, two, three, go into there, then yarn over, pull through, and through. Okay, so now we can go on to the next round. If you want to, you can turn your work, but you don't have to. Uh, this is how it's going to look on this side, looks really cool. But obviously the square is way too small still, so we're going to just continue with the same color. You can fasten off, change your color, work your granny square stitches on this side if you want. You know, you can uh, turn your work. I guess I can show you how to turn your work at this point. So turn your work this way. Slip stitch into this chain one space here. Chain up three. One, two, three. And put two more double crochet into here. So one and two. Okay, then chain one, hop to the next chain one space and put three double crochets in there. Okay, so each chain one space on the side gets uh, three double crochets. Make sure you chain one in between them. And then you wanna chain one and go into the corner chain one space. And in each corner chain one space, we're putting three double crochet, chain one and three double crochet. So that's super simple. And like, you can make this however big you want it to be. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a few rounds and then there's our corner. So then chain one, hop to the next chain one space. on. Now these are the sides, so we're only putting three double crochets into each one of those. Make sure that you chain one in between them, just like that. Now you don't have to chain one in between them. In the written pattern it does not, but I personally like to chain one in between. That just gives me a good guide on where I need to put my next stitches. 
So now this is the corner space. In the corners, we're putting three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochets. Okay, so you can do that all the way around. Like I said, too, you could change color on these rounds and make it all fancy. I'm just going to stick with the green color, um, but you can change colors and make it striped or do one full solid color on the bottom flat square here. Totally up to you. So I'm just going to finish this round and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to the next round together. I just made my last corner here, so I'm going to chain one and then slip stitch to the beginning chain of three of this round. So remember we turned our work and started on the side instead of in a corner. So one, two, three, right in here. Just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and through. Okay. So there you have it. So now if you want to, you can continue working on this side or you can turn your work and work on the back side here. I'm just going to turn this, go into this uh, chain one space here, slip stitch, slip stitch into the next three stitches, one, two, and three, and into this chain one corner space here. And I'm going to start in a corner. So chain up three, one, two, three, and just work the same pattern we've been doing. So start off with two double crochets in the same corner here, and then chain one and put three double crochets back in there. So one, two, three. And now you know what to do on the sides, just chain one and put three double crochets into the chain one space, then chain one, and then hop to the next chain one space and put three double crochets in there. And then chain one, put three double crochets in the next chain one space. And then chain one, and now you're at the corner here. So we're gonna put three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet all the way, all into the same chain one space. Okay, and then just chain one and work your sides. So it's super simple. It's just like our granny square number one, how we did the very first granny square of this whole project. We just did a basic stitch, basic granny square stitch. So I'm gonna make this, I think I'm going to fasten off after this round, but you do, excuse me, you do not have to. You can uh, go on to making this as big as you want, just working this traditional granny square stitch. And then um, I'll meet you up when I'm about to fasten off my square and we'll fasten off together and admire it together. All right, I'm just finishing up my square here. I just made it, need to uh, chain one and then slip stitch to the beginning, chain up three, one, two, three, right here. Just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and through. Then we can fasten off our squares big enough. So chain one, cut your yarn and pull that through, pull tight. Grab your yarn needle right away and sew in your ends. So just go in the corresponding color and sew that in underneath everything. Then you can cut any extra, stretch it out so it's all hidden. And there you have it. The granny square is complete. You can decide to block this if you'd like but it pretty much keeps its shape. It looks really fantastic. This is such a pretty square. I love the 3D look of it. It looks really cool. So I am going to admire this and maybe block it and enjoy it for the rest of the day. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out those links in the description of this video. I say it in every video. Make sure you're checking out those links. Check out the link to the written pattern, link to my blog, erinutopia.com, link to my Facebook, link to my Instagram. Uh, make sure you're following me on Snapchat. I've been snapping behind the scenes clips of what we do here on Yarn Utopia headquarters and you can see sneak peeks of our new stuff, new content, so make sure you do that. Also subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Click that red subscribe button so you can get that update um, when we post our next video, which will be tomorrow's video because we're posting a new one every day this year. So there you have it. Thanks again for watching everyone. Happy hooking!